Hello everybody, I'm Dehamp from Dehamp Game Channel, welcome back to Heart of Iron 4 and today we are checking out the new Star Wars mod that recently was released, Project Valakord. So I am looking forward to hopping on into this. Uh, we are going to be starting with the Galactic Empire, which I think every other Hoi4 YouTuber has already checked out. Um, so I am not the first to do this. But yeah, we're checking out the Galactic Empire today and depending on how I enjoy this mod, we'll be back possibly next week or the following week with the... Um, Rebel Alliance stuff that you can do with uh, Alderaan. So let us hop onto this and see what we can do today. So here's the planet of Coruscant. Obviously where our uh, capital city is. How many planets do we actually directly... Co oh my sweet heavens, we directly control a ton of planets. It would appear we're actually at war with the Mimbanese Liberation Army. So obviously we do start with Sheev Palpatine as our ruler. Obviously the Emperor, so he's got some nice wee bonuses there. We currently have six national spirits. We have overextended administration. Large alien population, dedication to the core, underdeveloped worlds, imperial research facilities, and the Tarkin Doctrine. And this, of course, is our focus tree. So I think this is kind of the more expansion-y kind of stuff. Um, and it looks like the Death Star is mentioned on there as well. Some research stuff decisions. Okay, cool. And then we've got the State of the Imperial Senate. And nice, it does look like they have slightly altered the uh, the icons for the, the research trees, which is fantastic. Well, I, I believe this does all make sense. It's, it's, I wouldn't really call him reckless. But he's a harsh leader, definitely get that. He's a Clone Wars veteran. He's Sith. He's an infantry leader, and we can also give him another trait. So Darth Vader is looking very, very good right now. Well, damn, I've just noticed how many dockyards we have. I suppose the... The Navy, as such, is going to be very, very important in this, so it does does make sense at the end of the day. So obviously during the Clone Wars, the uh, the Republic Senate was not very effective at all, but I suppose that's because Palpatine was playing it like a blinking fiddle. But uh, yeah, the Imperial Senate isn't much better, and um, as it says here, if the Republic truly died with the Emperor's rise, there was no proof stronger than these chambers, just due to the state that it's in. So yeah, we must remove this last remnant of the Republic. Okay, so we have completed 5% progress on Project Stardust, so obviously the Death Star. We could have the Governor's Mandate, or we could do the Director's Command. I'm going to go ahead and give it to the Director. And obviously, the Director is chilling over here. There's Orson Krennic. He is just chilling over here in Scarif, which might eventually actually get blown up. Right, our reinforcements are arrived over here, so I have a funny feeling we should actually be able to start pushing in. Vader, do your thing. Crush them. Well, I have a funny feeling this revolt is going to be very soon completely crushed. Well, it does appear that we can actually push the balance of power towards the Imperial Senate. So let's go ahead and promote a Senate bill. I am going to stop them. By any means necessary. Well, I've had a look to see who would be better. Is it Ars Dangor or Sly Moor? And Sly Moor is definitely better. And we have declared war on Umbara. Well, it's perfect that I was actually preparing an invasion. I've just forgot to send over some ships, so I will just combine our total forces. And obviously, Grand Admiral Thrawn's gonna have to take control of that. Well, 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 the Emperor's Emissary is definitely who you want to pick up. Darth Vader gives you so many bonuses, holy moly. Now, our invasion of Umbara is underway. This does appear to be going pretty damn well for us. Even cut off a division there. So one thing I want to be close by to deal with is the Mon Cala Uprising. So I might just head out. I'm just going to let it time out even and just completely destroy them. Uh, Mon Cala is all the way over here. This is it here, I believe. Yep, that's Mon Cala. So we're just going to go ahead and send Vader over there uh, just to preempt the uprising. Well, the uprising on Mon Cala has begun. We could go ahead and change to the Mon Cala over sector, but we're just going to watch and see how this goes. So I'm not even intervening. Oh, just notice we can actually start working down Rule by Fear, which sees Will Huff Tarkin become the leader of the Imperial Party. Well, the Mon Cala over sector has emerged victorious, so they didn't need my help in the end after all, so we'll just send all of our troops guess we'll just send them back over here. And we also have Tarkin now in power, so he's got a nice wee couple of modifiers there. And obviously the Emperor is now just a, a figurehead for us. I feel like it's pretty important for us to actually finish Project Stardust, so I'm going to probably spend a lot of time just getting through it. Excuse me, the Citizens' Revolt. Um, where on earth are they currently located? Oh, actually on Coruscant. 
Ah, there we go. The Citizens Revolt was very quickly put down. Moth Panaka has just been assassinated. The Naboo government collapses. We are now at war with the Kingdom of Naboo. Okay, right. Well, Vader, you have another job. The Alliance to Restore the Republic. Oh, you fools. You're all going to be dealt with. Every last one of yous. Well, we're at war with another nation now. The Baton Insurgency. But hopefully, they'll be dealt with a lot easier than... Um, Naboo. Oh great, they have they have zero divisions, so yeah. We better not struggle. Oh, the Rebel Alliance has formed, has it? They've only got five to nine divisions right now. Okay, we've upgraded our landing craft, so hopefully we'll be able to uh, naval invade Naboo now. Oh, fantastic. We can hire bounty hunters. So we can get Boba Fett, Cad, Bane, Bosk, IG-88B, Embo, Zuckus, Forlom, and the Crimson Crosshair. I can't believe it. We've just had to withdraw from the Kingdom of Naboo. Do you know, that's fine. I will come back for them later. Well, we have declared martial law in Jeddah in response to the um, partisan activity there. Um, excuse me, the Imperial Partisan War has kicked off? Mining incident on Jeddah. Right, I know why that war kicked off. It's, uh, yeah, we tested the Death Star's capabilities on Jeddah. So that's what the mining incident was. It was me blowing the hell up of it. Alright, hopefully the Inquisitor is going to have a fun old time over here and he's going to actually push them back. Oh, it would appear we've just killed off the majority of the Partisans' troops in the on the other planet, so this should be uh, straightforward for us against the one to four divisions that are left. So, Thrawn, send the fleet. Well, that's the Senate completely gone now. It's been completely binned. And I think a few people just joined the Rebel Alliance there. Oh, okay. There has been a declaration by the Rebellion. Oh well, they can they can do what they want. I'm going to be destroying them at some point, very very soon. Oh yes, we have started Project Umbra Legion, which is uh, the start of our development of robotic soldiers known as Dark Troopers. Oh, I can't wait to have them out and about. There we go. The partisans have been dealt with. We'll go ahead and puppet them. Okay, we're on step two of our uh, journey to getting Dark Troopers. We have to now design the robotic soldiers. So let's design an AI, develop a robotic ch chassis, and a new power source. Let's get all that sorted immediately. Well, we're just about to see Alderaan get turned to a pile of rubble. So that's about to fire. There we go. You may fire when ready. Destruction of Alderaan, it is gone. The Outer Rim Commonwealth has assumed leadership of the Republic faction. Okay, Operation Swarm has begun, which we are going to try and discover the current location of the Rebel base. So we are going to have to spend a quite a lot of political power to actually drop this down to actually find it. But hopefully by then I'll have Dark Troopers just to send to absolutely destroy them. Okay, this, this might not look like much, but this is the Dark Trooper template. For some reason, the icons just show up as that or padlocks. So, that is the Dark Troopers there. Oh ho ho, here they are, the first batch of Dark Troopers. The Outer Rim Commonwealth has declared War Imperial Camino. Well, I'm, I'm actually shocked that the uh, the Rebel Alliance hasn't actually done Rogue One yet. I, I'm, like, waiting for that, because that's where the war kicks off. And then obviously the Death Star will get blown up. Camino had a comms blackout. They're going to re-establish connection with us in nine days, though. Oh yeah, we've received an urgent message from Camino that they are uh, under a mass attack and taken by treacherous rebel general Ram Kota. Alright, let's join into this war. The galactic civil war is underway now. Okay, we have secured Ragusa. So let's go ahead and prepare our next invasion. Which is going to be where? Outer Rims. There we go. Not be who's next, but it would appear that we should probably go ahead and beef up the supplies here. Well, the Dark Troopers are seeming to be doing their job perfectly. We'll go ahead and push back now. Okay, that was a little panic there. We didn't have control of the port, but we have taken control of it now. Let's finally, also get the Emperor's Emissary, Darth Vader, which is going to give us some very, very good bonuses. Just noticed the Outer Rim Commonwealth is almost dead. Um, I did, however, lose 12 divisions up here in this random planet because I wasn't paying attention. So we're just going to pretend that didn't happen. Right, Ryloth, I need you to join in this war because we're going to go and take down these rebels. All right, that's one of the nations actually completely killed off now, but uh, obviously they're just a puppet and they weren't really doing much anyways. Nice, part of the troops have landed up here. I did take the port, 
so hopefully take over this planet very soon, and then I'm going to try and invade the other port on Umbara and completely kill off the troops over there. Well, that's a random portion of their troops there, in the Wind Trail Station. Project Second Sun's done as well, so we could just start blowing up planets with the Death Star, apparently. See what we've got, because if it's one of their planets that's left, I'm blown up. Okay, right, Dark Troopers, you know what to do. They have no port access now. Absolute destruction of them, and they've capitulated. Which just leaves the Rebel Alliance, who now has tons of divisions. Holy moly. The Rebel Alliance on Kashyyyk has also been dealt with. Very nicely done. Very nice. We'll go ahead and launch the invasion of here. Which looks like there is not a single person home. Fantastic. Okay, there's only a small handful of planets left. I'm actually going to be able to blow up one of them. Oh, Phil Maul. Just chilling the Crimson Dawn, obviously. Sith Lord. Okay, there's an investigation occurring on Ferex. We're going to take control of the hotel, whatever that's going to do. And we're going to have a rebel base in 125 days. Oh, that came out of nowhere. The, the, war, is, the war is over. Um... It just cost the, the world two planets. Well, there we go. The war is over. The Rebel Alliance has been put down and the Empire has solidified his position as the ruler of the galaxy. So I'm going to leave that there. So until next time, guys, do take care. Cheer bye. Then out.